What's up guys, it's your girl Jackie Ina. Welcome back to my channel. Jigga, 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 jigga. It's just a little bit of underarm hair. Don't be freaking bougie. Jigga, 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 jigga. Free the pins. Okay, that's how I'm justifying not being able to get laser right now. You are here to learn the tea on Fenty Beauty's newest launch on their cream cheek bronzers and their cream blushes. You're at the right place. First of all, I just wanna apologize. I know it's taken me a while to get this video together. First of all, I needed to get the product because people have been asking me for this review for weeks and like I didn't have the product. So it's like, guys, I'm, I'm in the same boat as you guys are. I'm waiting to. They finally launched and the day that I was going to actually order the entire collection, I checked my mail and they were already here. That's how much of a Fenty stan I am. I would have bought them anyway. I'm gonna just be real. Fenty just launched three new bronzers that are now in a cream formula. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I felt a little catfish, okay? Because I do feel like the powder bronzers could use an extension. I like where we are now, but when I saw that it was cream, I was like, but what about the powder? But I'll take what I can get. It's okay. They've done other amazing things with the line in general. The cream bronzers retail for 32 Zolas. And then they have the cream blushes. Love a cream blush. In fact, I feel like cream is probably my favorite formula. And those retail for $20 on the Sephora website. Hopefully you got some of these new shades in the new VIB sale because now would be the perfect time to do just that. I've never done a blush swatch video. This is kind of uncharted territory. I'm gonna try this out today. I'm gonna put on a little bit of foundation as I work through each color as I go. And I have not put on on any bronzer on my skin at all. I do have on brows. I pretty much did like the top half of my face. I was supposed to do my eyes. Oh, damn, be right back. All right, that's better. I think what I'm gonna do is try the bronzers first because the bronzers are probably what a lot of you guys are here for. I only have three of the new shades out of the entire new collection and she launched how many new cream bronzers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, shout out to a brand that knows their audience, okay? You don't have to send me fair light medium. It's not going to get used. It's not going to be swatched. It's not going to be checked for. So, well, it will be. You know what I mean, right? When you're, you're watching me, so you're not gonna look for like super, super light swatches, but anyway. So they sent me the three darkest shades. We have Teddy. Oh, you was on Teddy. Ooh, get into that texture. You like when she sweat, don't you? No, I actually really like the beaded look. It's just, I, I just want to lick it. Miss Jackson. So this is Teddy. This is the third to light shade in this collection. This is clearly too close slash borderline too light for me personally to use as a bronzer. So then we have the next shade down, which is chocolate. Chocolate is described as chocolate for deep skin tones. Teddy's supposed to be for tan skin tones. Chocolate is supposed to be for deep skin tones. In black people language, <laughs> I feel like there's like tan, medium, dark, and then there's deep. Sometimes when the messaging is a, not that accurate, I feel like it gets a little confusing because what's darker than deep if deep isn't deep? Do you feel me? Like I would not be considered deep and we don't want to contribute to the erasure of actual deep complexions. Those keywords matter. I would consider this more of a suitable bronzer. Medium dark, possibly medium deep. The darkest color is Toppy Tees. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I was a little confused because she does run a little purple. Now, when you think of a bronzer, you don't think of purple, girl. You're thinking red, you're thinking warm. Purple is a cool color. So I'm gonna assume maybe it's gonna swatch and look like something different when you put it on. So let's do just that. Teddy is looking a little olivey and because they're cream, obviously they're gonna be a little shiny, a little balmy. I almost kind of feel like, should I moisturize real quick? Chocolate, the next color down. I'm seeing a little bit of that purple too. Now I have seen this one warm and in my opinion, it didn't look like a bronzer. It looked like it could have been a contour. It just looked like a cream contour. Toffee Tees, the darkest color, the richest color is definitely on the purple side. So if you like the product, there's nothing wrong with that if it suits your complexion there's nothing wrong with that but just be mindful that these to me are not giving me bronzer just yet I'm gonna try them on and see how they actually look on my complexion I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of what these bronzers look like for those of you guys that don't own any of the Fenty bronzers just yet and you can't get to a store and see them in person I want to show you what Coco Naughty looks like next to chocolate bronzer so this is the powder formula this is the cream formula kind of a big difference I and that's why when I first saw the promo I was it's just like, why is it cream? Why I was so confused, like why is it not cream and powder? Like why did we get like that? This depth right here is what I feel is missing from the powder bronzer formula. I'm just gonna say it, I'm just gonna say it. So sue me. Miss Jackson. Electric chair. Now Mocha Mommy and Teddy Tease, baby Teddy Tease. 
bitty teddy tease me. Touch me, tease me, feel me and caress me. Hold on tight and don't let go. Baby, I'm about to bronze. As you can see, another big difference between Mocha Mommy and Toffee Tees, Toffee Tees, it's significantly richer. Now this is swatching really well on some rich complexions. I don't typically like watching reviews before I do a review because I like to be unbiased, but I wanted to see what the girls were saying about that bronzer so far, just so that I could be informed. I watch Ohima Bonsu here on YouTube. She's a Ghanaian YouTuber, really, really rich, complected, melanated, beautiful woman of society. You guys should definitely check out her channel. And this actually suited her very, very well. She surprisingly loved chocolate as a foundation shade. And I wanted to pass on the message and say that Fenty, you need to add this to the Pro Filter line of foundations as a sh as a shade, the shade chocolate. And we need to see the hydrating long wear in the shade chocolate. Cause she loves that shade and she doesn't have a Fenty shade just yet. She actually literally wore the bronzer as a foundation. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm trying to use my influence wisely, passing the torch. We need to see chocolate as a foundation shade, just saying. She's giving you just enough of a face to give you the tea on these bronzers. This is a light beat, please forgive me. I'm usually a lot more kicked up than this. I'm feeling like chocolate is gonna be a pretty decent match. Let's go ahead and jump into their face brush, the 125 face brush. Tips with cream products, I personally prefer them over powder for the most part. I almost always contour with something cream, so I feel like I could probably use this in place of that. If you're ever feeling apprehensive scared, frightened, just tap, 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 saturate the product just enough and then dab off the excess. But these are so sheer that I don't feel like the average person is gonna have a problem being able to work with these. I'm gonna start right in my forehead because I've been dying for some freaking dimension up here, bro. It's definitely a match so far. I don't know why I make a kissy face when I put on bronzer. These are pretty easy to blend, believe it or not. Now I'm gonna start working this into my cheek area. I'm not gonna lay the product down first. I'm just going to slowly build it up with the brush. Some people like to like swipe the product on and then blend out, but oh, I'm not doing that. No, I'm just going right in, stippling it up. We don't know how this product is going to act. Really didn't wanna just jump right in and pile it on first. It's not bad, I just don't know if I Love it though. But the color suits me. I think it's relatively easy to blend. This is also a really great brush for this product. So she's giving me shadow. The color's there. I just don't feel bronze. I just feel like this is looking a little bit more contour than it is a bronzer. I'm actually using a little bit less product on this side. Hmm. I do like this side better. That's what I will say. I do like this side better because I use less. And now I've adjusted. See, this is why I be practicing stuff on my bad side. That's why. Maybe I use just a tad too much as I warned you guys earlier that you're not gonna be able to go ham on this. But see, this is why. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? Aren't you glad you watched this review first? Because like, I'm learning about the product with you guys. I do believe this applies better with a little bit less product. Like I just dipped my brush in once and now I'm going to go back in and start stippling. It does look nice. I just don't know if I like this. It could also be that maybe they formulated this for the girl who doesn't really want to wear a full face of makeup because it is cream. I know a lot of times people are scared of creams like taking off what you've already worked so very hard for and that makes a lot of sense, right? We've always been taught never put creams and liquids on top of each other. So I get it. I don't think you'll have this problem if you use not a ton of it, but I like it. I don't know if I love it. Would I recommend it? Sure. I actually don't mind the color. I mean, it looks good. <laughs> or maybe I'll look good, I don't know. Coco Naughty on the other hand, like Coco Naughty, even though she could be a hair darker, makes so many freaking points. It's actually one of my favorite bronzers. Now, just to say we tried it, I wanna put on a little bit of Toffee Tees because I just wanna see what it's going to look like on me. This is definitely going to contour. Like this is definitely going to, if you're my complexion, this is definitely what you're gonna use to camouflage some quarantine snacks. You've been eating this right here. The contour, you know, we need to put that chisel back, but I'm actually not mad at this. I, I like the layering of both of these products. Now, even though I like these two, do I still feel like I'm wearing bronzer? I don't. I feel shadowed, like shadowed as in contour, shadowed as in snatch. Like I don't feel like this looks like a bronzer. Of the two, I'd probably prefer to use chocolate just for the shade, but I actually don't mind the way Toffee Tees looks on top. Now, is this the first ever swap? party for a blush collection? Give me my coins. Like who you know is gonna be doing a full face just to swatch a blush to take it off and do the next blush again. Who you know? Who you know? Uh-oh, uh, girl. 
Hell oh. Exactly. Okay, so the first color that we're gonna try on is Bikini Martini. I just need this blush to smell. This is a hot pink. Very bold, very bright. I'm very much so team these colors on deeper and dark complexions because they don't end up being as intimidating as you might think they are. In fact, if anything, they end up looking like better. Seriously? On the Fenty website, Bikini Martini is described as a soft bubblegum pink, and that's exactly what I would describe this color as. It's a cool tone, bubblegum, pretty bright. Because these are so balmy, you may even need to like really put on a lot of color. This is actually not as bright as I thought it would be. You know, this looks really muted on me. It's kind of pretty though. I almost feel like I put lip gloss on my cheeks. This looks like my skin tone. It's probably because it has that balmy formula, but this is not the pink I was expecting to get with the way that this looks in the pan. Like, is anybody else confused? Because this is giving me candy yum yum. She's looking real mauve. She's looking real muted. Not in a bad way though, but that's why I feel like these videos are so important because this is definitely not the color that I was expecting. I really like the way it's making my cheeks look shiny though. Now Rihanna did apply some of these blushes with her hands. That's totally at your discretion. I want to apply with blush just for consistency, but the next one I will do with my hands just to say we tried it on. This is Daiquiri Dip. Now Daiquiri <sighs> Dip I literally want in a drink. Like I am so sad. Like I can't go somewhere and get a cocktail right now. I sure as hell ain't gonna make one. You got me messed up. I ain't cooking. Daiquiri Dip just looks so juicy, sweet, and I'm sad that it doesn't smell like anything. Why not? It's a cheek blush. Daiquiri Dip is described as a soft coral red. Okay, so now that I get the vibe of these finishes, I will take their word for it. Now, it could also be that when you apply with your hands, it may be brighter. This is red, girl. Like, this is red. This is really cute. I feel like I look like my Animal Crossing character with this blush. <laughs> I'm not done blending it out. Stop judging. General rule of thumb, if you are new to cream blushes, I would not advise you to do this with your hands. Okay, this is not for the faint of heart. It's not easy. If you do enjoy using your hands, double digit it. Use two. It'll cover the area faster and it'll help you blend a little bit better. Now, just to say we tried it, I grabbed a brush because I just want to see what it looks like applied with the brush. It definitely actually gives a little bit more coverage when I brush it on. Really stands out. And this is kind of a really cute, very girly cherry red. This is actually not bad. This is actually really pretty, but the blushes, I'm not gonna lie, are a lot more sheer than what I expected. Like I thought these were going to give me color, okay? And I'm seeing like these might be better suited on bare skin. So far though, I mean, we got like 10 more blushes to go, so let me calm down, honey. From back here though, this looks really pretty. I like this one better than this one. She's light. It just wasn't what I was expecting. So the next color that we're gonna try on is Crush On Cupid. And this is a pretty, I would say coral bright pink. Let's see what it says on the website. On the website, it's described as a soft, cool pink. But I see a little bit of orange though, that's just me and my eyes. So I'm gonna dab, dab, dab. I am finding that I'm getting better results with a more dense blossoming brush as opposed to this. Like this is something that I would contour with. This is originally what I was applying the blushes with and I think it was too dense. Hopefully this will kind of sprawl out the color and allow it to look a little, I just, girl, like where is the color? I'm so confused. Okay, now I see, now I see her. There she is. Now when you're afraid of your foundation and everything else underneath coming off, don't swipe your blushes always stipple dab tap in circular motions you just want to follow the natural shape of the cheeks that's pretty i don't know if i love it but i do think it's actually really pretty now the thing that i feel is throwing me off a little bit is i thought that these were just going to be punch like i thought the color was going to be super vibrant very pigmented and they're not at all they're very soft in my opinion i feel like these are these are pretty sheer if you want color, you're probably not gonna get a ton of that from this. This is looking very glossier. It's looking very minimal, very sheer. The next color that I have is Strawberry Drip. That's a really cute name, but I'm really freaking mad that these don't smell like nothing because I feel like I just deserve. <laughs> Strawberry Dip is described on the website. Soft Coral Pink. It's actually really pretty. This is a really pretty color. I would just like to see it. Like, I would like to see it. You feel me? Strawberry Drip. Trip. I'm loading my brush on and I'm not. Okay, that, now I see that, I see that, I see that. Look at how messy this thing is now. I'm swirl, super soaked swirling to get that color. Oh, wow. 
okay, we see it now. Bet you learned your lesson now, didn't you dummy? This is actually really pretty. I could do with this. I thought this was gonna be sheer, but this I can do. She's cute, a vibe, a moment. She still kind of has that balmy wash, but with this, at least you get the color. I'm still kind of getting the urge to put these like on bare skin. Like I don't wanna see this product on top of powder. And I have like powder for my under eye, of course. We always have to set our under eye concealer. I feel like these are just better suited on bare skin or something that's got like a really dewy finish because the color payoff is just, I can't put my finger on what it is, but I'm just not Fenty wowed. I mean, there's wow that I get from other brands and then there's Fenty level wow. That's consistently how I've reacted to damn near every launch. And cream blushes are one of my favorite products in the beauty category in general. So I was expecting a lot and my expectations really aren't being met. No, not yet. I'm gonna keep going and pray for the best. I don't think I have a lot of hope for Fuego Flush. It looks really light. There is a home for Fuego Flush. We're also missing a really deep, rich orange in this collection. This one actually kind of looks like a highlighter. So you know what? I'm just gonna see what this looks like on top of what I'm wearing because this is... This to me looks more like a highlighter than it does a blush. Yeah, this is all highlighter, but I'm not gonna lie, that's actually really pretty. This I like. Maybe what's missing from some of these blushes is the shimmer. And these could be worn as more highlights than actual blush, because I feel like as actual blush, they're not giving me the justice that I deserve. I deserve justice. I deserve. Maybe they should have went the liquid route. Cream with something that is so sheer like this, I think is gonna be a little hard to work with if you aren't used to cream products. I feel like if it was a liquid blush, it'd be easier to use, but because it is sheer and then it's cream on top of that, if if something is cream and I'm dipping my brush into it, I'm expecting color payoff. There should be under no circumstances why I'd have to build up a sheer cream product like this. Do you get what I'm saying? The problem is, is most people are scared of cream products. I'm not because I'm a freaking cream blush snob, but the average person isn't gonna know better. And so I worry that these are not any Anyway, let me try on the next color. Now, since I've clearly seen what these blushes look like on a full powder down beat Tilla, I just figured why not throw in a tinted moisturizer and see if I like it better on kind of sort of my skin, but better or almost bare skin. So the next color I'm gonna try on is Petal Poppin'. Now I feel like Petal Poppin' is not gonna work for me. She does look a little too light. It's fine though. We're gonna jump into another color after this. Petal Poppin' is described as a soft baby pink and I can already see. So Petal Poppin', let's go. The thing is because these blushes are so sheer that they're starting to kind of like all look the same. I'm not seeing a big color burst. You know what I mean? Like, like this one to me looks a lot like bikini martini. These two could be the same color. They both are kind of giving the same tone in a way. I would definitely say Petal Poppin isn't as light as I thought it would. Oh, that's really pretty. That is actually really pretty. This one, I'm putting that one to the side. I like that one. I totally take back what I said. Bikini Martini, they're kind of the same vibe, but I actually like this one better. This one, however, I don't know because these blushes are so unpredictable. Like I can't confidently say this will look just as good on someone who is darker and more richer because this is not normally something that I would gravitate to. I thought this was gonna be too light and like it definitely surprised me. So this, this is hard. This is the most unpredictable review I think I've ever done ever. Ooh, that's a good video title. <laughs> <laughs> now we have summertime wine. Yeah, I dug my microphone into this one earlier. Excuse the dents. On the Fenty website, this one is described as soft berry with shimmer. So this one also has shimmer. Now did Petal Poppin have shimmer? Petal Poppin didn't have shimmer. I think that came from the orange one that we just used before, Fuego Flush. But anyway, let's just throw this on. This looks like a lip color my mom would wear. This feels like the more mature. Oh, that is pretty. Finally, some color! Thank you! That is what I wanna see in a cream blush. Everything else was looking like lip gloss. This I like. Putting that one in my pile of colors that I like. Definitely a color that I could see being worn daytime and nighttime. It's got the pigment that I'm looking for. This one is giving me more a softer wash of color, but I still see it. None of the other girls are doing this. Like the all of the other five that we tried on have yet to give me anything remotely close to this. So a coincidence that I took off all my makeup? It could be that, I don't know. Yikes. I'm gonna try 
have the exact same colors on with the light beat and then I'll know if it's me. Full beat, take two. Okay, this is petal popping one more time. I'm now trying it over a look. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I think it was literally just the colors that I was trying. It does look a little different over the makeup, but I see what she's doing. We see each other. I still really, really like this one. Putting that one on my beauty vanity. Let's go back into Summertime Wine again. I love that name. It's such a cute name. Did I say that earlier? I just want to remind y'all. Okay, Summertime Wine. Don't play me. I was a little apprehensive. Now I really dug the brush in. I can see this color. Okay, so it's not me. It's not the products. It really is just colors. As you can see, these two colors still look just as great, just as pigmented, and just as Jackie Ina approved. Like, I, I like this. I like what this color is doing. I like Summertime Wine. I like what Petal Poppin' is doing. Petal Poppin' on a handstand. Um, I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna do the last three colors, but like in my head, I've already made up my mind about this collection in general. Just blending on my seventh layer of foundation. It's not raw or painful or itchy or anything like that. It's fine. Do what we do for the review. Ah! Okay, Rose Latte is the one that I was looking the most forward to. It is a brown, I guess you could call this like a rosewood. Am I a blogger now? I'm using adjectives like rosewood. <laughs> More brown, more coral. When I first saw all of these cream blushes laid out, the first thing I thought was there's so much pink. We don't get enough brown-based blushes, coral, peaches, like real coral, peaches, orange. I, I wish there would have been a little bit more, but now that I have different thoughts about the collection in general, maybe I'm happy that there aren't because I don't have to be disappointed. Oh, that was a little shady. We still have Fenty. Oh, it's rose latte, not rose latte. I wouldn't picture this as a rose color, but whatever. So on the website, she's described as a soft bronzed nude. You know how I feel about that word. I don't know if she's going to be a nude on me, but let's find out. Crap, there's still makeup remover on this brush. So it is moving a little bit here because I had a little bit of brush cleanser still in my brush. So if it looks a little patchy, it's my fault. It's not the blush. This is it. This is what the other girls were trying to do. They didn't make the draft this year. They didn't. If 90s were dewy, 90s weren't dewy at all. They were the exact opposite. They were matte. This is what I feel a 90s brown for your cheeks would embody, but in a cream version. Does that make sense? This is a real really pretty color. I just don't know what this is going to look like on the deeper category. I always have to speak to everybody darker than me because I'm obviously not the only shade of brown. I like this color. I don't know what it's going to look like on anyone darker than me because this collection has been so unpredictable. This I really, really like. And I feel like this would be really pretty as an everyday color, as an everyday, like this is actually a nude on me. It actually does look like a nude of actual nude for dark skin. Thank you, Riri. I'm putting that one in my pile of loves. Coolberry is described, Coolberry is described, Coolberry is described, soft mauve with shimmer, mauve on dark skin. Sometimes when I use colors that look like this, they tend to look bruised on me. So let's just see how this one goes. Okay, she's not too bad. It's a mauve that leans more towards the purple. You know how mauve is like basically pink? It's a pink that's got like purple in it. This one is leaning more towards the purple side and that's why I was a little concerned, but I like this one. This one I would actually wear. I don't love it, but I can see it on my skin tone. That's what I mean by that. But at least it's not as sheer as the other ones, okay? I'll give it that. This is our last blush and I really don't have to rub my face raw one last time just for this one color. I kept everything on, but I took a little bit of translucent powder. You know I use translucent powder for every thing. Do you see what I see? When you set these with powder, it makes a little bit of a point. It makes a point. That is actually kind of nice. What I was intending to do was take my powder to like erase this off and start over. But what I basically ended up doing is turning it into a blush. I just set it with powder. I set the cream with powder. That color actually looks really beautiful. Now I'm gonna do the same on this side. This is Rose Latte. Rose Latte may be a little too close to my complexion to do the same thing. Yeah, she pretty, oh, I She's there. She's not that standout-ish, but she's there. We just learned a great tip. I don't want you guys to go out and buy products that you're not wowed by, but already have the blushes and you're just like, should I take them back? Should I keep them? And you're kind of like wavering on them. Maybe try doing this. With cream products, sometimes people will layer another blush on top just to intensify it or to kind of set it. That's basically what I just did. You can either do it with a powder or you could do it with a blush that kind of matches the same color. The last color that we have is Drama Class. Now I'm not gonna lie. I've said this dozens of times on my channel. This is my least favorite color person. In the name of Whoopi Goldberg, love you, sis. Ooh. Drama Class is described as a soft violet. This is my least favorite color. It's blue toned, it's cool. I'm not that wowed about purple on my face. I like it on my eyes. Drama Class is 
hopefully gonna end us out with a bang girl because this was such a freaking chaotic review. Where is she? Wait a minute. That is really pretty, but now I, I feel bamboozled and led astray. Now I don't know if it's pretty because it's over that powder or if it really is pretty, but it really is pretty. This I'm identifying with, I'm resonating with. This one feels right in my spirit. This is a beautiful color. This is giving me color payoff. This is giving me pigment. This is giving me vibe, sweetie. When they said drama class, they meant it. They meant it. We're quarantined, but you're gonna show up, damn it. This review was so stressful, oh my God. Like this review was so stressful. You know, whenever I like to do try on hauls, especially Fenty, I like to give you glasses. I like to give you different lip colors. I had three different outfit changes planned for this review, but because it was so all over the place, inconsistent, confusing, jarring, that I didn't feel the energy was there to give you a true proper swatch video like I normally would. So I have five on my liked side for the cream blushes and then five on the no thanks, you can keep that. So we drew just about even. But if you remember earlier, some of them I was like, I'd wear this, but I don't love it. And I get not everything that I like is going to be something that I love, but I'm just so used to loving most things from Fenty, except the Moroccan Spice Collection. I thought that was probably one of my least favorite launches. This one is going to be my second least. Shakira, bye, bye, bye. Now, one thing that I'ma just be straight up about, you guys know when it comes to brands in general, I will tell you what time it is. I've criticized Too Faced. I've criticized ColourPop. I have at some points mildly criticized Fenty. Everybody can get the smoke. So when I'm not like gagging over the floor, oh, acting like a buffoon because I love a product so much. Like sometimes people expect that I'm going to literally like do backflips over cliffs for every single product that the brands that I like will launch. Just because I'm not salivating at the mouth of the collection, it doesn't mean Fenty's canceled. It doesn't mean I don't like them. When you're talking about a brand that's got like a celebrity as the face of it, people tend to take things really personal. So I remember when I did my Moroccan Spice review and everybody was like, oh, she hates on Fenty. I'm like, uh, I did a whole launch video literally praising Rihanna. Fenty fills a void that I don't know if any other brand will ever fill. I just don't. I mean, just for who she stands for as an artist, as a person, it fits her so much. It makes people feel welcomed and included. I still feel that way, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna love every launch. I say that as someone who got to do karaoke with Rihanna. Like they flew me out to London. I got literally flew out, met her, loved her, taking shots together in 1942. I said all that to say, I'm not gonna love everything that Fenty launches and that's okay. Let's go back to the bronzers. Let's backtrack. The bronzers I feel were even more passable from this new collection. I didn't get bronze. I got more contour if anything. They didn't really add any warmth to my skin. I would just prefer to just use the old school bronzers that they've already had, the powder ones. It's, it's very strange because we haven't really gotten there with bronzy cream bronzers yet. Like even Huda has cream bronzers. And again, I don't feel like they're bronzers. I feel like they're contours, but they're just not giving the warmth that a traditional bronzer would. I feel the same way about this collection. I feel the same exact way. As for the blushes, I mean, you saw how up and down this was. It's very difficult to recommend a lot of these shades because what they look like in the pan, I put them on and they were like completely different. So I can't confidently tell you which ones are gonna be dark and deep girl friendly at all because I feel like they were just so all over the place. This is the first review I've ever done where I've been left like confused and kind of indifferent. Like I can live without this launch, but I like what I have. But if they never launched it, I'd be okay too. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I got. I'm done here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. In the meantime, this is actually really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you can just enjoy this and watch another video. My food is ready. I gotta go anyway. Click, hurry up, because I'm hungry. Damn, play too much anyway. <laughs>